Hi guys. Um, so I think this is recording. Um, this is how you go about um, making a transparent box with type over an image. I just this is just a random image I loaded, and obviously there isn't really a place to put type. Um, over here, you see my, if you follow my cursor, you see the layers palette? You will need to have your layers palette open when doing this. Um, if it's not open, go up to window in the menu and look for layers and that will open it. Okay, so when I open this snake, it automatically creates the background layer. Now, I'm going to create a new layer on top of it. You see where my cursor is right here. There it is, layer one. And you can see it has uh, all those gray and white checks. Those indicate that it's transparent. There's nothing in there. So what you can do right now is you can go get your marquee tool rectangular marquee tool or any shape you like really and um, let's say I'm gonna put my type uh, over here why not and I'm gonna fill that first of all I'm gonna put white in my color palette and I'm going to fill that with foreground color. Okay. Now I, I, I know I'm using Photoshop and you're using photo elements so this may not be exactly the same but if you uh, you know don't get it you'll ask me. So this layer one is my box and then I'll go to the type tool which creates this and as soon as I click it creates a layer 2 over here which is a type layer that's what the type means so I'm just going to type snake and uh, I'm going to make that type color uh, type color black so you can see it. I'll make it bigger. You know whatever I like and then I'll click off of that and go back to my type tool again and um, let's see or I'll just I'll just keep typing I could do this and start another type layer but I'll just keep typing in this case and make that smaller. Okay, so there we are. Um, now, we're not happy with the white. We want to make that transparent so that we can see some snake coming through. So I'm going to go back to layer one which has the white box on it. And if you look at my cursor right here on the layers palette, it says normal, it says opacity 100%. So you can, if you click that, you get a slider and you can just take that opacity down to whatever you think you want it to be so that your type 
is readable. Okay, I made it 62% here. I mean, for something like this, um, you know, I might go a little more opaque, but that's purely a judgment call. Okay, so that's step one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change this. Um, if you want to use a black box with white type, it's just exactly the same technique. Now here I'm going to go back to layer one, which has the white. Sorry. And select it. And I'm going to make my foreground color black. And I'm going to fill. Again, for, foreground color. And you see it's black also with transparency. And uh, needless to say, for this, I'm going to want my copy uh, to be white. Okay. Makes sense, I hope can ask me uh, any questions, anytime. Okay, there we go. Talk to you later. Bye. If I can stop the recording. Uh...